Hey guys, J-Man here. This is the Toronto Comic Book Show. So we're just getting ready to go in. I'm gonna meet Sean. Should be around here somewhere. I'll find him and let's try to get some good video. J-Man here back from the Toronto Comic Book Show. And I got a lot of stuff. Well, I didn't get a lot of stuff, but I got stuff that was expensive, but kind of cool. All right, we're gonna go through these really quickly. Um, I wanna say that this show is my favorite show um, that we go to for comics. Sean and I both go. Um, it's comic books only, hard line drawn. There's no Funko Pops. There's none of this shit in the back here, all these toys, nothing. It's pure comic boxes only. You got your slabbed guys section. You got your loose, your, your, your floppy section. You got your dollar bin section that I bought stuff of. That's it. It's comics. There's nothing else. There, it, 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 people walk in, it's like, where are the toys? They're not here. Leave. Get out. Okay. This is comic books only, and I love it. My absolute favorite show. 10 bucks Canadian to get in, so that's probably like 650 ish for you guys in the US. Um, it's called the Toronto Comic Book Show. Um, I love it. Okay. Dollar books. Pit number two. I don't have pit number two. Pit number one. You can't have enough copies of pit number one. I think I already have pit number one. I had it when it came out. I had it when it came out and then I got rid of it and then I bought it again for like a buck and now I bought it again, I think. I don't know, but I like the pit. I, look, I was missing some of these funeral for a friend Supermans, okay? Um, so I, for some reason I, I missed a few. So I needed seven and eight. Um, here's the epilogue with Superman and all that on the cover. Um, yeah, I, they're just, kind of gap fillers so i'm gonna have to okay so that was that um here's one that's the that's the off off brand so every show i go to i'm very focused and you and you're allowed to be focused on this uh, at this show because of the toronto comic book show it's comic books only and there's such a diverse amount of vendors and, and things you can get you you can actually be very focused now, I'm sure Sean's gonna post his video, uh, uh, Deceptishawn77, so his the channel link is in the description of this video. Check his video out, because he got, I, th I don't even see what he got. We split up on this one. We kind of like, I had, because I, I had to be very focused on this. I had, I had a budget, I stayed within the budget, and my budget included very high priced items. Um, I almost went off budget to grab something else, but I, I, I'm not off budget, I'm sorry, off, 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 um, off mission. I didn't, I was very clear. This, so those dollar books, that was off mission because there's a dollar bin, I just went through it. My other off mission was Brave and the Bold. Well, mission slash off mission, Brave and the Bold, all right? This is one that Clobby and I, I forgot the number of this already, geez, that's terrible. 100, sorry, yeah, 100. Brave and the Bold, number 100. Uh, Clobber and Times and I do a monthly, I think, Bob Haney, uh, we enter the world of Earth B, Earth B for Bob Haney, the wacky, Bob Haney, Wacky Zany, who who just writes weird stories. And this one is very weird. We covered it in an in-depth live stream. That is on Clobber and Time's channel. The link to his channel is in the description of this video, plus all my other videos as well. Um, I have to gra grab this. It, just, it was so great reviewing these. Um, everyone that we review, I end up trying to get. Now, I have missed one. I couldn't find it, but it's 120, I think, and then 150. Those are the two I still want to get. But yeah, Brave and the Bold, great issue. Okay. That's it for the off mission uh, purchases. The rest, these and a few other ones. Uh, the mission, should I choose to accept it, which I did choose to accept it for this Toronto comic book show was Captain America. Uh, I loved Captain America as a kid. I never thought he was cheesy, whatever, whatever. I loved it. I actually started, I actually got a couple, like two, 250, 250, 50 for one, something like that. I got a few of those. And then I don't know what happened. I was just out of it. And then I kind of came back in around 290 something, 295 ish. I got, I, I mean, it's on my phone. I don't know the exact numbers. I have a bad memory for numbers and this kind of thing. So that's why I have lists on my phone. That's why the comic book collector God created phones, iPhones, so we could have our notes with us. I still see people with pen and paper at the at the convention, and I'm like, guys, you got to upgrade to the phone. Let, let come on. Anyway, so uh, Captain America. That was the mission. Now. Captain America 300, boom, that's where, that was the J-Man, like, yeah. I got 300, 
01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, at like 300 to 38, it was like 298 or something to 318, never missed it. There's a few gaps in between and I got back on again. So I'm, this was all gap filling. I've almost completed, I'm trying to get 300 to the end, 454. And then I want to get 100 to um, uh, 298 or whatever I, I need. All right, so we're gonna go through. I did get a couple of big ticket ones, which I'll show you at the end. Come on, you know how this works. It's, it's YouTube, but I'm gonna show you at the end, right? All right, uh, 319, my old apartment number. 319 was my old first ever apartment that I lived at. It was 319, Captain America, boom. That's good. Oh, love this cover. Everyone knows this one. It's a super famous one. My buddy Lamar here, Battlestar. Um, I love the corner here with the two guys back to back. Um, so this is, uh, what's his face? Uh, John Walker, right? Um, 335. Look at that, man. <gasps> uh, 336. The search for Steve Rogers. Oh my God. You got Nomad, you got D-Man. D-Man is, no, that is not Wolverine. Stop it. I know. I know he's the same. Stop it. We know where this cover is a homage to. What is this cover a homage to? I don't know. We got US Agent there, we got Nomad, D-Man, and we got friggin' Falcon, who's awesome. This is so cool. Steve Rogers fights again. I've got this shirt. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing uh, some Captain, or sorry, we're gonna be live streaming some Captain America stuff uh, short, uh, pretty soon. Love this cover, 338, this is really nice. Three thirty nine really exciting as well i always love the u.s agent costume i thought it was really good i had the shirt of this u.s agent pretty cool uh a viper in our mist oh my god this is this is just too scary that was sorry 342 the answer is 42 344 Man, 346, I always wanted this one. I remember seeing this in the, in the, now I didn't go to the shops. This is way back in the day where basically you had to go to like a convenience store to find any kind of comics. And I love these, I love this entire section. I was right into Captain America big time during this, during this run here. I think this is still Grunewald. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm the worst ever on names. Unless it's Jack Kirby or something. I'm the worst ever on names. Um, I, I, but I, I, it still might be, but I love these. Um, I always wanted that issue. I never had that as a kid. I mean, this is just badass. This, this I, and I read this. This is, this is, so again, this is these two, th those two guys are John Walker's former friends or something. I can't remember exactly. And they're ass wipes and they get, they get a friggin' come up and so that's for damn sure. Um, look how cool this is. This is 352. We got like all these, like the Avengers, like what's going on here? They're all like mean looking. That's, this is, that's pretty cool. That's really neat. Um, I mean, this is awesome too. Um, the Supreme Soviets in issue 353. This is exciting. I always like when there's like a bunch of bad guys, it's like, we're all teamed up. It's like, what are you going to do now? That's really cool. Um, 356. What has happened to Captain America? Buddy, you gotta eat a sandwich. Let's let's do it. I don't think he could do this all day in that form. I don't think he could do it. Uh 357. Here we go. The Bloodstone Hunt. Um, this is a famous arc. I don't know if I have all of this. I'm missing a few. I don't remember if I have them. I might I may already have them. Damn, I gotta re I gotta read this again. I gotta read this again. Oh, I, I you know this cover, three fifty eight. I never had this as a kid. I want it so bad. I love that. This is like this is like the to me. It's like the Temple of Doom, <laughs> the Temple of Doom cover or the Temple of Doom uh, pit trap or whatever. Um, number four of six, three sixty. Pretty cool. Five of six. The bloodstone. 
Six of six. This is number 362. Got a bunch of guys on here. Crossbones, Batrock. What is going on? Oh man, two of my favorite characters ever are colliding in 365. It's Namor and Cap. Why can't they just be friends? You know, like seriously, help us out here, boys. Um, that was pretty cool. I always thought this was a weird one. 366 acts. I mean, look, acts of vengeance to me is awesome. Okay. Some, somewhere along the line, someone had said, oh, acts of vengeance wasn't that good. It's like, I never get these memos. Like I'll read something and be like, wow, that was awesome. And someone's like, yeah, that's trash. You know, that storyline was, was trash, eh? Or back then they would be like, that storyline sucked. And I'm like, it, it did? I didn't know that. They're like, yeah, it sucked. And I'm like, oh. So, Acts of Vengeance, baby, yes. I don't know, I love the Acts of Vengeance. I don't know. <laughs> 371, this is a yawn cover. You're like, ah. If Captain America is not on it, well, you got these guys on the side here, like what's going to happen? But I'm like, eh. Now, yeah, you, now, now we're back to the good ones. Th this is what I like here. 372, Streets of Poison. Look at this. Yeah. You gotta have Cap on the cover, man. Like, what the heck? Uh, ooh, look at this one. This is really cool. This is 373. We got Bullseye. We got Black Widow. What's going on with Bullseye? What's he up to? I don't know. Well, if you didn't know what Bullseye was up to, you just need 374 because he's trying to stop Captain America. Hey, where'd he get this weapon from? Oh, I don't think you can see it on here. Oh, it's it's right. It's there. And that I think that is that is it for that lot. So this is a lot of gap filling for me. Um, this show is great for that kind of a thing. All right. So let me show you the big ticket ones I got. You you didn't think I'd let you down. You didn't think I'd let you down. Come on. I you know I got a few big ones. We're gonna we're gonna count them backwards. So that's a spoiler right there. One o three. This is great i'm rereading these now off of comiXology because i'm not breaking this sucker open uh, though i'm not against breaking these open and reading them eh i'm not like i only have one slabbed comic keep that in your mind for a second i only have one slabbed comic and that is the first appearance of stilt man which is right there and i don't know why <laughs> i love stilt man it's just the price was good. I thought, ah, oh, what the hell? I have a slabbed issue. Uh, about 103, man. Look at that. That is so good. So good. And yes, we're counting backwards. So 101. How awesome is that? That is great. The condition on these are pretty damn good. Oh, I love these this this whole sleeper thing with the different sleepers was so cool. Captain that that they're they were just amazing. And the big one. I'll I'll take it out of here. Cap 100. It's a 4.5. Considering I never have any of these, I'm very happy with this. So, 4.5. I mean, the cover's pretty good. I usually only care about the cover. So now I have two slabbed comics. Um, I'm not a big guy going for these, but I don't know. It's just it's just amazing. This is this was a great issue as well. Captain America is just one of the best characters ever. And uh, you know, Simon Kirby, awesome. I um I, I, I mean, look, the MCU without Captain America is just not not the MCU. That's it. I, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but Captain America is just amazing. I would love to get 100 to, uh, to 454. After that, uh, like, I mean, I, I, I do like, you know, like there's some okay, like Heroes Return, We're Born, all that kind of stuff. And then there's that Captain America series. It was one to something or other. I can't. I had about one to 40 of that and I thought that was pretty good. I actually ended up giving that away to a friend of mine because um, uh, he really liked Captain America. But I'd like to get this Captain America. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. All right, that is all I got. Now, Those now if you want to know the 4.5 grading, I paid 340 Canadian. So it's about a 35% difference for um, for U US dollars. So I don't know. It, 
I, I don't know what, like maybe it would have been like 250 or something. So I think I got a pretty good deal. I, I went to every single person at the show and I said, cap 100, no. Cap 100, yeah, 500 bucks, hold that. Cap 100, cap 100. I literally went to every single person, almost a lot of, I would say 70% of the people had it at different grades and different price levels. Like some of them were five or 600 and they were like a 5.5 or something like that. I'm like, well, I'm like, I don't care that much. As long as the cover looks nice, I don't I don't care about the, like the rest of it. And if it's slab, that's all you're really seeing. So I went with this one. Um, I had a, got a good deal on it, so I'm very happy with those. And the 101 and 103 are really nice. I need to get that 102, so I'm going to try to get... Captain America is going to be the mission for a little bit until I catch up on some of those. I'm almost done Doctor Strange. I have three more issues and I've completed Doctor Strange. Uh, I need maybe like 10 or 12 more of DC Presents and maybe 10 or 12 more of West Coast Avengers. And then I've got all of those as well. So I'm doing pretty good. Um, doing pretty good. But yeah. All right, guys. Let me know. Did you go to the show? What did you get? Let me know in the comments if you went. That's it, guys. Until next time.